Hey, welcome back to another Get Geekish podcast. I'm Pino, uh, joined by Derek. Is I, I don't even want to call us weekly because we go so sporadically. Of you know, it's we, we do our podcast as much as we can. Well, you know, the part of being older is we run out of time. I forget some stuff too. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the main thing. You know, the whole reason we started it was, you know, we get geekish when we have time. You know, life. We understand life happens. Everybody should understand life happens. We'd like to make this more of a scheduled thing, but. Uh, Especially getting into the summer, that may not happen. Yeah, I mean, it fits right in the the original idea behind this was we get geekish about stuff. But we don't have time to be fully immersed in every fandom. So here we go. I don't have time to be fully immersed in every week podcasting, but we'll get better at. It, I swear. Yes. Uh, but uh, I'm fresh back off a trip to uh, the happiest place on earth in Disney World, and we thought we're gonna talk a little bit about Disney this week. And we're, not, oh, we're, not, we're, not, we're not talking about controversies or new movies. We're talking about some of the conspiracy theories and urban legends surrounding the Disney parks and the, the Disney brand. Get your tinfoil hats out. Gosh. <laughs> I mean, should we, just, should we just knock this one out of the park right now? What, that Walt Disney is frozen underneath the park or that his head is frozen underneath the park? Yeah. there's That, one, that one's been around forever. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know where people come up with the idea for, but there's the the big rumor that said that his body was cryogenically frozen and hid away in the park to bring back later. Right. There's another one that said it's just his head is buried there. Another one said that just his body's buried there and his funeral in California was fake. And another one I read says that he's still alive, just hiding out there, enjoying life. Like, how old would he be now? There's no way he'd still be alive. I don't know. There, it's all over the place. He's probably got some, you know, magic cryogenic drugs keeping him young. But well, here's the thing too: is if cryogenics was real. There would be a whole bunch of billionaires that would be doing it, right? Well, it depends because <laughs> hear me out on this. You're crazy for yourself. <laughs> you want to come back in the future when they can either cure something you've got or make you live forever or longer, right? So anybody right. that realistically, you know, what twenty, thirty years tops when the first cryogenic stuff could have could have come about, and even that's probably pretty iffy. But anything they would have had by then, oh, I'm going to wake myself up in 30 years and they can cure cancer. Eh, better set it for another 30, 40 years. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, by, by 2020, they'll be able to put my computer in a brain and I'll live forever. We can put you in a vacuum maybe, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's curious to see how that one started. I mean, like, especially because what the, the cryogenics one started in the, was it the 80s or the 90s? I want to say it was the 90s, but it's everything's kind of a blur at this point when it gets back that far. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't say that. Oh, when it gets back that far and we're only talking about the 90s. Ugh. Yuck. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, the other big one that I see all over the internet is the Haunted Mansion, that everybody thinks mm -hmm. the Haunted Mansion is actually haunted. Some people say that there's somebody that's died in there. Other people say that people sprinkle their, their dead family members' ashes in the park and that it causes malfunctions when they do it. So hear me out here. <laughs> My turn. Um, if if you're one that believes in ghosts and everything like that, right? Sprinkling the ashes at Haunted Mansion just cause some kind of guys type of situation. You know, it it could be people who are like, yeah, I'm, cool, I'm here in the afterlife. Boo. You know, it's a perfect place for ghosts, right? Um, or it could just be paranoia of people going through and seeing. I mean, it would be the whole rumor like of what with Wizard of Oz where you're like, oh, there's people that hung themselves and everything like that. It's just, you know, urban legends. That's what we're talking about is this. I think it just started with a, one person and then somebody else was like, yeah, you're right. Spooky it, stuff does happen on that. It's the haunted mansion. Spooky stuff's going to happen. Although you do mention that if I want to like let myself down that path a little bit, if I were a ghost and I wanted to not get caught by anybody, if you want to haunt went and haunted the haunted mansion, hey, I saw a ghost. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we all saw ghosts. Like, yeah, you can yeah, get away. Okay, with, you can there, get buddy. away with whatever you want. Like, you can walk around and be the any any kind of ghost you want to be. Be like, man, it's part of the ride. Did you see that ghost? It looked realistic. Nah, I could see the wires. <laughs> Uh, another one. Have you heard of Club 33? Mm, no. 
Okay, so yeah, I want to say actually yes, but no. A bunch of bunch of mysteries around this one. I have air quotes going on for anyone that's listening and not watching. That uh, it was a members only club within Disneyland, hidden in there, and they said it was a place where Walt Disney lived and he hosted secret parties and all these things in there. When there is a little club there in New Orleans Square, but it was literally just a small club made for entertaining VIP guests. And it wasn't really a secret. It just wasn't open to the public. It was invite-only VIP club members down there. So people took it and ran with it and created this whole mystery of this secret bunker and lair that he lived in and brought all these people in. It was for people with lots of money and connections to Disney World, <laughs> Disneyland. So that one's partly true. Yeah. I would say that, you know, the, the club part of it, I mean, there's what it was like Studio 51 or whatever it was. Like uh-huh. where the elites went, mm-hmm. I would, I would, I wouldn't deny that there was probably something a little bit more elaborate going on than just the, oh, this is a place where I host VIPs. There probably was like themed parties and. I'm, I'm sure there was some parties party. on there too, but it wasn't like a secret underworld destination for the world's elite, like. Well, here's the thing. The, 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 but there's the other urban legend because Disney has a whole bunch of underground tunnels for the cast members to get to places, right? So. There's like urban legends or myths or whatever you want to call it that underneath there is like a the ingredients for a utopia. Basically, if the world were to end, that's like they have all the stuff under there because of all the I mean, it's kind of like the have DIA. You been, have you been conspiracy. watching TikTok videos again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying because it's, no. it's the legend of the utilidors because the corridors, but they're for utility closets. And yeah. there's rumors they're all over the parks, but it's only Disney World in Florida that actually has them. And they're utility tunnels to get cast members in and out and to take trash and stuff and like that. And there's places that have actually gone on tours and done these things, and they're not near as extensive or magical as we all like to think they were. It's an underground city. It's literally like uh, the U of M in Minnesota probably has a more extensive tunnel system underneath it than Disney World does. <laughs> I will say I'll give it to Disney, the whole system that they got so people don't see like trash getting removed and everything like that. Awesome. Let's Mm -hmm. implement that everywhere. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And the lack of bugs in the middle of Florida. I'm a big fan of that. (laughs) (laughs) The other part, too, of people getting with the the tunnels under Florida. I, I am not a civil engineer. However, I do know a little bit about lowland swamp that most of Florida is. If you're going to start digging some magic tunnels to go hidey way in, that's probably not the place to do it. (laughs) Hey, I built a a, a shelter of tunnels. It's only 340 feet below sea level. Let's go. Like, no, I'm good. I like living. (laughs) Well, let's see. When was when was Disney World like developed and and built? Because maybe they didn't have the technology to do that underwater, like, you know, Bioshock type of city now. But maybe, maybe just recently they have. Who knows? Uh, so Euro Disney as the secret to yeah. Atlantis. <laughs> That's the only reason it's still open. It's, it's, a, it's a gateway to the underworld. Right. <laughs> or maybe Disney Euro, Paris. <laughs> maybe Euro Disney connects all the way to Disney Japan or whatever. Oh. All the way through. I, and Disney and Disney Paris is the catacombs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw That's a real haunted that. mansion. <laughs> Uh, speaking of, uh, underground safe spaces, the Disney vault. Now you and I both grew up in a time when Disney had the things that they locked in the vault. They had their movies. They would release them and have a big to do and have a new version of their clamshell VHS tape or their DVD. And then <gasps> you better buy it before April 14th. Cause then we're going to lock it in the vault away forever and you'll never be able to buy it again. AKA capitalism marketing. Yeah, it was a great marketing plan for what it is, making things seem special. But rumors got swirling that not only was it just a sales pitch, but people put together the idea that there was an actual Scrooge McDuck like vault that Disney went and took all their movies and hid away there so nobody could get access to them, but they'd have them later. Kind of like part of me just wants to believe that that's a thing. (laughs) <laughs> you know, I just I want to believe that there is actually a vault where they what? You know, they spin it. I'm, I'm sure they've got a vault with some things on there for it, but not to hoard them from humanity. Like, <laughs> and if they're going to recreate them, they're going to find the nice, high quality digital version of it and upload it rather than oh, let's go find that VHS tape and rip it a few more thousand times. <laughs> Can you imagine it's society falls, it's Armageddon. 
somebody comes upon upon that vault and they think, oh my gosh, I'm going to be rich. They turn it up and all of a sudden you in the darkness here. I'm your savior now. <laughs> and it's, just, it's, just, it's just a new Disney <laughs> regime. Y'all are in for it now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking of, uh, evil overlords, uh, how about the Disney's ties to the Illuminati? You heard about that one? Uh, there's, there's tons of, I mean, cause look at what they basically have a conglomerate now over media, right? Like I mean, parts of it, uh, huge en- parts en- en- of enter- it. Entertainment we'll say, not just, not okay. Media. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Entertainment. I mean, they got Disney plus, which they now own Hulu and ABC and yeah, there's just a whole bunch of things. And it's just one of those ones like. How did this happen? What did Walt Disney do? And uh, yeah, that's where the rumor started. He uh, made a pact, made a deal. All I don't know, part of me also, part of me also goes, I don't want to talk about the Illuminati because you know. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. My book, Woo. <laughs> but the 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 uh, people that go down this path, you can find some websites that go down some pretty interesting tangents. Of uh, finding "quote unquote" hidden symbolism and hidden messages within Disney movies and things hidden in the parks and things like that. And well, that's I mean, just that's like if you're uh, what the saying like if you're thinking of a red car, you're gonna see more red cars, mm-hmm. right? So if you're thinking about oh, there's hidden messages, you're gonna see hidden messages. I mean, that was a huge thing in the '90s. Is like, well, if you pause the Lion King right here, you're gonna see a secret message in the dust. Or oh, if you pause the Little Mermaid here, you're gonna see something that you shouldn't see. You know, that type of thing. Now, I will say in Rescuers, that was one. They did have that little nudity clip in there that they have spliced out. But I think that was just a disgruntled employee that put that in, mm-hmm. in there. But but that goes on to my my next uh, point is the Disney spell in quotes. What they call that. It's all the hidden subliminal message that kind of goes on the Illuminati stuff of, in the Lion King when it said sex was spelled out in the, the smoke and things like that. And I'm, I'm with you. <sighs> Conspiracy theories. As, as a child, did you subliminally see the shape of the letters S-E-X and Lion King and then suddenly it changed your life? No, you didn't even notice it. As an adult, you look back and go, oh, no way, look what they did there. And I'm with you. I, I, I can't imagine that it was a any kind of covertly organized attempt to do anything it was some animator going hey guess what i'm gonna get in there oh if the if right? this gets if this gets past the editor oh my god i'm gonna tell my friends i'm gonna be the coolest guy ever like well and honestly like it could be you know that whole rat boy attitude or it could honestly just be when they designed it that's what the it designed it and nobody paid any attention to it except for a couple people all of a sudden they're like that looks like that and then you get that whole like didn't that look like that and you're like yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. I mean, because that's just like we could be both looking up the sky, see the same clouds, see two different things. And then if one of us says, well, I think it's kind of a whale. Like, yeah, you're right. You know, well, I, I, I get to see it full source because they do have the hidden Mickeys at Disneyland and Disney World. Yep. Where there's that's hidden true. Mickey Mouses on everything, which kind of goes down that same idea of hidden message on there. But watching in full force, going there with two young kids and the adults included, started looking for hidden Mickeys, started finding them ever, even ones that weren't there. Anything that had three circles remotely close to each other, your brain's like, it's, it's a mouse. That's, that's, that's a, it's probably on purpose. It's, probably, it's, it's a mouse, I bet. If I squint really hard and the sun is at the 12 o'clock hour. Even the trees grow and the wind hits it just right and you sit right here and hold this one on this way. See, look at that. It's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the last big one I found was then also down the Illuminati path is the, the Disney mind control. Mm. Brace yourself, there's no actual evidence of this, but people are saying it's a subliminal takeover that through all the movies that was Disney's entire plan was to permeate all of the media and entertainment and be able to plant these messages and control the population with message hidden. It's pretty much like the plot of the Josie and the Pussycats movie, but in real life. Okay. and I mean, the, that's kind they, of... They do to life. a point in the events because they've they've trained hundreds of millions of people to just buy their crap no matter what it is but i don't know if i'd go so far as to call that mind control that's just intensively lucrative marketing <laughs> yeah i i don't know i mean i think it is just more a marketing type of thing 
Um, it's a more mild mannered, like urban legends is one of them in Florida is that Cinderella's castle can be collapsed. If a hurricane happens, like people are thinking, Oh man, it was, there's a natural disaster. They just, they can collapse the whole castle. No, I mean, they made the decor in the structure kind of hurricane proof, but it never needs to be collapsed and does not have some sort of technological shield to protect it. Though that would be kind of cool. Imagine that. Disney has that power, just like, hmm. Yeah, the, the fact that people think it's packing up like a transformer it baffles my mind. Like, Do you know that most of that's made out of fiberglass, too? Makes sense. Mm-hmm. And it's actually uh, really, really tough, too. Like, it, the, Some of the other rumors that I found that were a little ridiculous that somebody says that there's a dome over Disney World because it protects it from the weather and the bugs and keeps everything safe. Like, One, I can attest, it still rains very hard sometimes. Uh, two, how could you hide a giant dome over Disney World. <laughs> Simpsons did it. But they didn't hide it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. What about uh, kind of going along the Haunted Mansion one of like some people think that there's real bones in the Pirates of the Caribbean one? If that's true, can I donate my body to science and have it displayed for the Pirates of the Caribbean ride? That'd be red. <laughs> right? Oh, what are you going to do when you die? Uh, donate my bones to Disney. What? There's more rumors with the Pirates of the Caribbean one, too, because there's also some rumors circulating that uh, Johnny Depp goes and visits Disney World and the Pirates of the Caribbean Red sometimes just to mess with people, which no fact to it whatsoever. People made it up. They probably saw the uh, animatronic one time, probably had a few too many drinks, and thought, that's really Johnny Depp. And I will say, well, didn't he actually do that once, though, where he... <laughs> He might have done it once, like promoting a movie or something like that. But the rumors yeah. make it sound like it's a regular thing. Like he's there over the weekend. Like, yeah, I'm going to go screw with people at Disney World. Yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he has more to do. And uh, what? He lives in France, right? I don't, I don't think he would fly all the way to America's Wang just to do, to do that. <laughs> I'm glad one of us called it that and it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Every time somebody talks about Florida, I always think of the Simpsons and it's America's Wang. America's Wang. <laughs> So you've been to Disneyland and Disney World, right? Yes, yes. The California Adventure and, and this one? Mm-hmm. Like, it seems like most of the urban legends have to deal with the Florida one. Yeah. Why? I wonder why, because it, it's Disneyland isn't as popular, right? I mean, it's popular, but it does. it's not nearly as big as Disney World. Well, it's not the the is quite the immersive experience. I mean, there's stuff around there, but unless you're staying at the like the resort on the thing, it's you're st- you're in Southern California. There's an amusement park close by. You go to Disney World, and that entire swath of land they have gone there. You, it's it's that immersive thing, and everything grows, and you you you're in a different world. You go to Disneyland, you're still in Southern California, an amusement park. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to hand it like we were in Galaxy's Edge, and the, they built things around the outside. But once you walk through the gate. You feel like you are in some place far, else. far away. So, yeah, some some place far far away. You can't see any skyline, nothing other. It's just you're you're there. You can't see over walls. There's buildings put up. It's they they uh, magic it up pretty good. We'll say it like that. And nice. There's there's certain parts about both. The, I mean, they have a lot of similar rides and attractions. That there's some have better here, some have better there. But I I like the Florida one better because it just like it, it feels like it's its own world like I think that's uh that's what a lot of people like me personally I've never been to Disney so either one of them um so I'll have to take your word on it but I will say so you don't really like horror movie stuff did you do the Haunted Mansion oh yeah Haunted Mansion is great would you say that it's haunted would you say did you see ghosts I saw lots of ghosts <laughs> the entire ride is based well, off animatronics and holograms <laughs> So, like, <laughs> out of all these urban legends that we just ran through, which one do you think would be the most logical and feasible? Um, let's see. Because, I mean, you know, some your, your opinion is going to be different than others, right? Some people will be like, oh, I, I 100% believe that the Haunted Mansion actually is haunted because spreading the ashes i I, I, ha- I have a couple more ones that are actually true because most ones we went right. through i i'm skeptical enough that it's really tough for me to believe anything of those ones but there's the rumor of if you yell andy's coming at all the toy story characters that all the characters drop to the ground like in the movie 
that does happen though, doesn't it? No. It no? might it might have happened a few times long ago, but it is not a thing and if people go and do it now, no, nothing happens. It's not part of the training or part of the experience. Uh, something that might have happened once or somebody did it and acted it out and then it just spread like, oh, you got to try this. It's it's like getting a, a picture with in Star Wars in Galaxy's Edge. If you stop and ask somebody for a photo, they look at you like you're crazy and ignore you. If you ask them for a scan, they stop and take pictures with you. It's pretty common knowledge if you look at any Disney blogs, but most of the tourists there have no idea about it. So it's a yeah. thing, but it's not changing anybody's lives like <laughs> i wonder if the andy's coming thing like used to be a thing and then they stopped it because people were getting hurt like disney didn't want to pay out the workman's comp yeah because well, people the, just fall into the ground well, there's a lot of it because a, a similar rumor going around there was that disney characters have to do it if you ask a disney character they can't turn you down or they can't say no it's part of their guest experience and that one backed by a number of disney employees like no that's not the case if you are being a complete jackal at the park those uh, characters and cast members can help to escort you off the property <laughs> like they yeah. don't have to do what you say they're not your slave minion i will say that's got. i will say that's one thing of like you know where social media has kind of maybe ruined some of the magic of disney because you have those people those influencers who go in there and they're like oh well if you go up here and you ask for this you know like things they have to give it to you and then it ruins it because it gets out to millions of people and then they go to the park and they go up and harass that one person and be like blah 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 do the thing and it's yeah. like it used to be it used to be a secret little thing where only, you know, mm. it spread by word of mouth. And now it's just like it's like the secret menus at Starbucks and stuff like that. Just put it in the stupid menu or don't offer it. <laughs> yeah, it's not a secret anymore. <laughs> and the other one that's a fake and a real one that there's an abandoned Disney park in North Carolina. Apparently, a website called uh, Creepy Paster Fandom said that the whole thing had a whole story about this abandoned park that Disney built in North Carolina, and they just abandoned it because their plans went to south, and you can still couldn't the areas and find it. But the website that posted the story has since deleted everything, which takes away even more of the little credibility it had. So, a fake one. But there is an actual abandoned Disney park that's in Florida. Uh, HelloGiggles.com uh, was the one that had the story about it, but a, a park called River Country. They started making that park, and uh, it was actually getting built before some of the parks even opened, and they, for whatever reason, never went through with it or changed the ideas or decided they were going to save that land for later. So there's a whole area that was put together for a new land of a park that just happens to be there, hidden off in the distance that nobody knows about. Huh. It'll probably get turned into something someday, but... Maybe. Maybe that's where the underground layer is. With Walt Disney's dead body. <laughs> what about the one that's closer to home for you? Remember what was it like seven years ago when there was that whole speculation that Disney was going to come to Northern Colorado? Oh yeah. I don't know if that was I don't know who started. Was that. It, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't think that there was any, there may have been like, I don't even know the legitimacy of that. I just remember like somebody, like news stories started picking it up and everything like that. Like she's coming here is like, why? Well, look at even recently with the, the Disney versus DeSantis stuff. I've seen news stories that Disney's moving to North Carolina. I've seen stories that Disney's moving to Georgia. I've heard stories that Disney's moving to Illinois, like all these things. You're like, none of this is actually true. This is all you read. One story took one line of a story and said, oh, it's happening. Like somebody says, Oh, if they wanted to come to Illinois, that'd be great. They said they're coming to Illinois. No, that, that that's not what I said at all. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, because you think about it, Disney is in Florida and California because of the weather, right? Uh -huh. A place like Illinois, a place like Colorado, mm, you only got like a limited amount of time to make that money. Mm -hmm. and, and you'd have to start trying to do some cold weather stuff. And I just don't see that happening. It makes like, sense. Maybe some like the frozen rides. Like if you get somebody that can figure out a way to do a theme park that is summer friendly in the warm times and winter friendly in the winter, that'd be pretty awesome. But I don't think yeah. that's even plausible. And being able to switch back and forth like that because the fact that it can literally be snowing and then 82 degrees a day and a half later here. it's <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, growing up in Colorado, you know, when we went to Elitch's or Six Flags, whatever you want to call it, there was definitely some very cold days where it was miserable. Mm -hmm. to go on rides so yeah there was nothing worse than going to the after the water park open you go to the water park and then have it rain and drop about 45 degrees temperature and then you're walking around mm -hmm. in a wet t-shirt and wet shorts trying to stay warm <laughs> 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 i 
It don't happen in Florida. You get hot. That's about it. You just sweat through everything. But everybody sweats, so you don't feel so bad. Right. <laughs> so that 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 don't rest. Do you have any other uh, conspiracy theories we should bring up before the end of this? Mm, no, I mean, there's, uh, there's, there's. I'm sure we missed some big ones, and there, I know there's some ones that are more political and stuff like that that I just don't feel like diving into. But you know, it's it's weird how. I mean, it's just like we've we've done a podcast on urban legends and conspiracies before. I think actually one on each one of those, and it's just weird how one little word of mouth thing, somebody just has that speculation of like, oh yeah, this is what's going on, and then it just yeah. There there was a new one uh, that was on TikTok. I found it about too. Um, it was I think it was just a, the last couple of years. A guy fake fake website blog that literally one of those websites at the bottom it says this is a parody website but it tries to look like a news site posted a story mm-hmm. and then it started traveling around on tiktok that disney was going to destroy and remove cinderella's castle after they finished their 50th anniversary which was this year and it went over tiktok and it got two or three million shares of this thing and this whole story went out that oh yeah after the video they're they're gonna get rid of cinderella's castle and replace it with something else and people just Took it hook, line, and sinker. Roll with it. Oh, yeah, they're going to do that. Can you imagine if Disney took down the Magic Kingdom castle, what their fan base would do to them? I was going to say, that'd be like McDonald's removing their golden arches. You know, that giant M. It, it just wouldn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no sense whatsoever. But when people want to believe something, they'll believe something, I guess. But let us know. Now that you've, you've heard a whole story of some of the... the theories that we've discussed today. What did we miss or what else uh, should we look into that could be interesting about the Disney, the Disney world, the Disneyland, the Disney franchise, the Illuminati. What was your favorite <laughs> snack there? Uh, I hear the churros are delicious. The churros were good. Dole Whip's good. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, some of the stuff from the cantina in Galaxy's Edge. There okay. was a, uh, a basically a Jello shot with tapioca balls and green apple and it, it, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it was red. And then a fuzzy mm. tauntaun that actually makes your tongue and lips numb when you drink it. That's because of the drugs. <laughs> I, I believe it's because of herbs, but <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> not those kinds. Florida, anyway. Uh, hmm. Anyway, let us know. Ad get geekish. What are some other Disney conspiracy theories that we? should look into at get geekish let us know on the socials derek it's been fun we'll get this up and uh we'll see y'all next week or so hey thanks for listening we truly appreciate it don't forget to like and subscribe to the podcast find us on social media at get geekish and if you want more podcasts we got plenty of them